I didn't know which one I was supposed to do, so we just did both. As long as they don't bill for both. Morning. We are getting some much needed rain, but that is kind of preventing us from hauling grain. So we were, we're going to haul grain out of the bin that we cut the hole in, but we'll probably wait till tomorrow or whenever the rain stops. So for now, I think we're going to work on the new corn head, try to get that thing unfolded. I see BJ in the driver's seat. I don't necessarily like that. So right now this morning we're adjusting the steering stops in this combine. We had a little bit of room that we could adjust, but we're working on a phone call from Capella. Had some questions on hooking up our old switch. So we're doing that so we're messing the steering stops. Right there is the steering stop. Go a little bit more! Only showed us using the book because I don't think many people actually think we use our, our service manuals. But we do. So one thing about today, this rain is going to be really good for the corn. I don't know if we're going to have a record crop, but we're going to have a good one, I think. I think, so far. We're on track. Long way to go. Must be our fold switch. Okay, so the gleaner has a problem. The auger's not long enough. <laughs> Anyways, got an extension for it so this way BJ doesn't run over the, the draper head when we're harvesting. I don't run over draper heads because we have this. Well you seemed awful nervous about it. We could return it if you want. Now, it was a little close so this is a 30 inch extension put on the end of that auger and we should be good. And Dad's worried about us knocking it off when we turn. Let's see what we can do to put a cylinder on it. Hold it. No. Simple. We want it to be simple. That's why we bought a gleaner, remember? Here's a picture if that's more your speed. On your side. You can lean just as far as I can lean. Wrench. You can dodge a wrench. For when we weld, we make sure that it's not budding, sagging down. Do we look blurry? I am kind of blurry sometimes. God, Fair week was one of those times. <laughs> Maybe. Subscribe to our Patreon, kids. We're going to get all the energy. So, with this auger extension kit we got, we have to weld the shaft onto the shaft, and then we have to weld the flighting onto the new shaft, and then bolt the new extension tube to the old tube. So it's kind of a little bit of weld and bolt. I wish, wish it was just all bolt on. This kit is from Shoop. We have no affiliation with Shoop. This is just the uh, first kit we found. What do you say, dude? Yeah. Hey. What? That ain't a toy box. What? No toys. One thing we've been doing periodically, we've been welding a little bit on that shaft and starting the combine, raising the auger, and then turning it. So, raise the auger, BJ will pull on the pulley, get it lined up where Dad can weld on it, and then we'll put her down. It takes a little bit of time, but it's easier to get the auger. What? It's easier to get the auger where Dad can do a better job welding on it this way. Morning. Back to working on the gleaner. We'll get that extension done today. Also got some some weight coming for it. So 
Right now, Dad's trying to line the flighting up on the extension with the old flighting. It's close, but we got to bend it and grind it, and we're getting there. Start that thing up. So Dad still doesn't quite trust me to weld, so I guess he's going to weld it. Well, by looking at his welds, I don't quite trust his eyes anymore. Nah, it'll hold. He's got way more experience running a stick welder than I do. Down to the sweep in the big bin. Now this is a 48 foot diameter bin. There's still probably 6,000 bushel of corn in there, I'd say. So it's gonna take a while yet. So we do have, this corn is contracted. We have more than enough to finish our contract, but we don't know exactly how much we have, which is why we want to get it hauled. We're not pressed for time, but there's some pretty good premiums right now if you got old crop with low vom, which we do. But we don't want to sell ourselves out of corn. So that's why we're trying to get this hauled. We're just about done with that contract though. So we decided that we're going to take the gleaner over to the shop. Um, for some reason we can't get that welder hot enough to, that flighting's really hard in metal. We're going to use the MIG welder for that. But right now we've got some guys that are just about here. They're going to load the tires for us. So several people commented on the weight of that folder head. So yeah, we're loading the tires. That should add roughly 1,300 pounds per tire. So that should counterbalance that weight pretty good. I do think we'd be fine on flat ground, but uh, I would just feel better if we had a little bit more weight to counterbalance that, especially driving down the road with that folder. So while we're waiting on the tire guys to get here, Dad and I are tinkering on this head. We still don't have a fold switch, but I think we've got a way cobbled up to at least unfold it for the first time. And uh, I don't know, look at it, attach the snouts, whatever we gotta do. So for a while we couldn't figure out how to get our head sight figured, or hooked up. And then we figured out where the power was of it. So for now, we're just going to power this actuator with our head sight power and see if that'll work. If you notice, even Dad has the area work shirts now. Link in the description for a discount. the cutter bar button. You don't have to hit the forward and aft on the reel. So to fold and unfold I'm hitting my cutter bar pressure button right here and uh, that's what's folding and unfolding. So really happy we're able to do that instead of mounting another switch in here. Once we figure out how to splice into uh, wherever that is in the single point harness. There she is. So if you do notice, we are offset, so there's more of the head on that side than that side because of the offset feeder house of the gleaner. So therefore, when we're folded, there's more of the head sticking out on this side than this side. Kind of a pain in the butt, but well, it would be all right. It's not that big of a deal. It's offset like, I don't know what it is, 10 inches or something like that. So it's still, still way better than putting the head on a trailer every time we got to go anywhere. Are you talking about on the combine or on the head? On the head. Okay. So that's on that side. So that's what that pin 27 in your single point. So BJ and Dad and myself all have to go to a meeting at Farm Credit. The tire guys aren't here yet, so we're just going to park the combine out where they can see it. And like Dad said, if they put it in the wrong combine, well, he had a couple choice words. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this turned around to where it'd be pretty hard for them to mistake it. Yep, surely they'll figure this out. Just leave the GoPro on time lapse. That way we'll know if they've been here. Well, they got the right combine. So I got to run over home. I'm actually a little late, but I've got a special package coming. So we'll go check that out. Yeah, the farm credit appointment took way longer than I was thinking it would. Like two hours longer than I thought it would. Or about an hour longer than I thought it would. Alright, so here's our special delivery. It's for the rock source, so been telling you guys I was gonna get a cab for a long time well here's my cab it's in these boxes I ended up going with the soft cab so the last Rockstar video I did I've mentioned that I was going to be getting a cab and I put two different cabs up went with the soft cab so it's gonna have soft doors a canvas top oh, you'll see it in a future video I'm sure but, but yeah I'm excited to have a cab anyways uh, I've got to take one of the kids over to school for their orientation the first day of school is tomorrow so Summer's over.
Okay guys, this is a couple days later. I did not film the last of the install here, but the auger is done. It is ready to go. Even works, I know, strange. But yeah, that adds 30 inches to our unload auger. That should give us plenty of clearance for a 40 foot draper head when we start dumping on the go and whatnot. So, combine's pretty well decked out and ready to go. Uh, we do have one more thing coming for it though. Next week, you'll see. Place your bets what it is. Go ahead. Um, other than that, like I said in the last couple of videos, we will be at Farm Progress Show. I've said in the last few videos, I still get at least one message every day asking if we're going. We are going to Farm Progress Show. I know we'll be there the first two days. We might be there the whole show, not 100% just yet. Um, also, if you guys are looking for any Brown Farms merch, I'd point to my hat, but I don't have one at the moment. Um, check the link in the description. I am going to have some available at the Farm Progress Show, I believe. We have some new shirts coming out. Let's just say they might reflect some of our recent purchases. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, hopefully should have those in time for Farm Progress. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Now I just got to finish this cab install.